So we're celebrating the completion of the first camper home for the DNR that, uh, that the STS Homes and uh, Summit Academy OIC, the workers there, built. It's a partnership with uh, Hennepin County STS Homes and Summit Academy. Uh, for the last five years, we have been building cabins for the DNR, either on site or down at Red Wing. So this is a pilot project, the first one to see if we could build one here with the students at Summit, and we did, it took 10 weeks. I first heard about Summit Academy at the Minnesota Workforce Center in St. Paul about six months ago. I was in a transitional time of my life, out of work and looking for a fresh start. It's a 20 week course, uh, first 10 weeks are in the classroom, there you focus on uh, blueprint reading, safety, mathematics, construction terms, and, and, and history protocols on a job site. Summit Academy provided me the opportunity to be, by awarding me a scholarship, so I could better myself through the 20-week pre-apprentice carpentry course. In the second 10 weeks, you go hands-on on projects like this, or building uh, the houses in the lab. I've learned everything. I, I came in that with no experience, and I've learned how to frame, roof, uh, put cedar shake siding on, um, build bunk beds, lay hardwood flooring, put in uh, wood paneling. It's been a great experience. I've gained a lot. It's a change of career for me, and uh, all of this is brand new. But now, since we're toward the end, I, I feel proficient in just about everything pre-carpentry. Uh, Some of the people actually go off to unions uh, for pre-apprenticeship training, and after the second 10 weeks, uh, they graduate. The other uh, Participants are inmates from Shakopee, Lionel Lakes, Stillwater. So it's a carpenter training program for guy, men and women in prison. So, they, so we teach them a skill and help them get jobs. And instead of having people do probation and, and just have a list of uh, conditions that don't mean anything, we're actually putting people to work. While working on this camper cabin, I have improved on my skills to take the basic building materials and a small amount of tools create a structure that many people will appreciate for many years to come. The big thing is it's providing people with training, men and women with training, that they can then use to get full-time jobs in the future. So this is the, a transitional opportunity. Get the training and then go to work on projects like the interchange, central corridor construction, the depot. Through this opportunity and support that I have been given, I've been able to network with several successful companies in the construction field. As of this morning, I had contact with Yaw Construction, and they gave me the opportunity to work with them on the Union Depot in downtown St. Paul. I'd like to start my own business eventually once I get enough experience under my belt, and just kind of live a comfortable life, not have to struggle paycheck to paycheck, and kind of have a future set up myself and my daughter. We put out a pretty nice project for being the first class. It's, it, it wasn't easy by all means. They're four seasons. They're, they're built with uh, uh, to the standard of a home, basically. So they've got insulation, they've got the, the structural strength, and uh, we, we put them in places where people want to see them. It's terrific work. I looked at the finishes. They've done fabulous work, and these are going to be placed in state parks all over the state of Minnesota. You know, it's good work. It's a solid structure. It's going to stand on whatever the state park it ends up with for years and years. And I hope you're proud of that because, uh, because I'm proud of you as you've done it. With that, you know, once again, I thank you for allowing us to be a part of what I hope to be a growing and improving relationship between state and community levels to help prepare those who are looking for the opportunities and support to make positive changes in our lives. Thanks. And that's really what's important here, that we found a way, again, to focus on that notion that we're going to give people the skills they need to perform jobs that need to be done in the 21st century. And that's really what this is about. So the, to Summit Academy OIC for the courage to articulate that and create a way to make it real in 2012 and beyond, I, I thank you and congratulate you for that work.